So whereas maybe had this shape, it was uh, just val was one of the um, variants, and then nothing was the other one, uh, result looks like this. It's got an OK value and an error value, so it actually has two type variables, two different ones. And OK uh, holds on to an OK value, and error holds on to an error value. So uh, we can also have some more complex JSON here, such as this uh, JSON string, which has user ID, which is a number, first name, and last name, which are both strings. And we might want to say, yeah, I actually want to uh, decode this thing. Now, this is significantly more complex than just an integer. But there's actually uh, the same API. We can use the same decode string on this. We're just going to pass it different decoders that will specify how to uh, decode this more complex structure. So in JavaScript, the way that we would do this uh, is we would essentially say, hey, uh, give me that thing. I'm just going to turn it from JSON into a JavaScript object. I'm going to assume that that worked. And then I'm just going to say JSON.ID. Just assume that it worked, and then I can access uh, this like, ID field from there. Well, this is going to give me back undefined, because there is no ID field here. There's user ID, but there's no actual ID field. So we can already see that this is a source of potential problems, because as we all know, if you've got undefined, that can also snake its way through your programs, eventually cause runtime exceptions, even worse stuff than not a number. So in TypeScript, uh, by the way, this is also basically the same thing. Uh, they don't really do anything differently in this regard. Um, they will assume if you decode some JSON that it's just got the shape that you say it is, and that may cause problems, that may cause runtime exceptions, but it's up to you to sort of get it right and not to make mistakes like this when dealing with uh, you know, data that may or may not actually have the shape that you think it does. Um, also, you can add an int annotation uh, in TypeScript saying, like, I promise that ID is an int. Uh, which can also just be wrong. Uh, TypeScript will accept that and say, oh, from now on I'm going to assume, as I'm type checking your program, that ID is an int, when in fact it turns out it's not. Uh, so sometimes people say that TypeScript's type system is unsound, which is like an academic term. Um, that's what they mean by this. They mean that basically like, you can say things that are wrong that will uh, have in impact throughout the, the, your code base, no matter how big it is. Okay, but in Elm, we don't want to do this. We're going to do something else to avoid these problems to make it so that as you're decoding this JSON, we're going to either have OK, in which case it succeeded and we definitely know what its shape is and it definitely is going to work the way we expect it to, or we're going to have an error, in which case decoding did not succeed, it was not in the shape that we expected, and we, we have to handle that some other way. 